How tall are you? Oh, you must be great at basketball. Like, it's everything in proportion. Are you massive? I walked into the lift and the guy was like, every time I see you, you get two inches tall. <laughs> <laughs> But how tall are you? It's something that I get every single day, multiple, multiple times. And like, you're tall, and I'm like, what? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! I mean, that's a, that's a fair question. Why? Why do you need to know? If you do tell them how, <laughs> how tall you are, like, <gasps> how tall are you is never the end of the conversation. No, no. I don't give sass, unlike some people. <laughs> I'm very open, and I will answer your questions that you have about But that's because you're a man, and men are supposed to be tall. Uh standard. What's the weather like up there? I hear it so much. I guess it is an easy way for people to start a conversation. But it's like, come on, be a bit more original. There was one time I was like, cloudy, now there's a dickhead in front of me. Whoa, you've got clown feet. Yeah. My feet are quite small, but then I get... Freak! <laughs> yeah! There are no high street shops that stock 13. My feet are size 18. Oh, if it rains, we can take your shoes off and use them as a canoe. <laughs> End up putting black bags on your feet half the time. I'm all legs, I'm all and legs. And I have to wear my trousers, like, really low no. down. And it's like 50 million pounds for, a, for like an, an underwear that's going to fit your bum right. But then nothing Just ever fits me. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I have to And that. then you roll it up to try and not make it look yeah, so immersive. Like, but this is a fashion statement. Yes, I'm yeah. so hipster. <laughs> You must only date other tall people. Yes, you're too short for me. Bye. Like, how do I kiss you? And I'm like, just like doubling down, like, you come to me. I feel like I'm <laughs> Like seeing a giraffe bending down to eat a bush. When tall men date shorter girls, I just, I just don't understand. This small bitch has come in to freaking get, get my man. My wife is five foot. You know, stay in your lane. <laughs> Can you move to the back for the photo? I, I actually refuse. don't mind. No, I refuse. I get it. I don't. It's my picture too. At school, you know how they line you up before you go on to like have your school class photo? If I went through my school photos, yeah. I am literally centre back in every single year. Because you want to be like in the middle with all your friends and I'm just at the back with the guys who are like, we like being this height. Look how long my arms are. <laughs> Look. I'm a human selfie stick. You have to squat a bit. Yeah, it's, yeah. you're just sort of, you, you've got to lean back yeah, or go down and yeah, it's never, you're never going to get your best angle from there. This is very important. Have you got enough leg room? No. 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 No the fuck I don't. But you're not going to do anything about it, are you? No. You're not going to give us no. seats on EasyJet for free. My trick is to limp as I go to them, please. They're so long. It's not a question of being uncomfortable, it's you would not get in that seat. Definitely. I'm always like this. No, <laughs> yes. And who's in the exit row? Freaking Sally, who's like five foot two and nothing's wrong with her. Can I get on your shoulders? <laughs> I've been asked by a boy before. No. no, you can't get on my shoulders. So I'm going to be the big old ogre carrying the little petite thing on your shoulders. Like, I hate it. I once accidentally tripped up while giving a girl a piggyback. I don't like it when it's at a festival, because then it's like, you know, I'm already causing anger behind me. I'm so insecure at festival grounds. People are like giving me the death stare. So I spend the whole time just like bowing down, trying to apologize for it. And I end up just not enjoying the gig, because I'm in pain. I'm all for the piggybacks if it's someone I fancy. Stand up so I can see how tall you are. <sighs> so a guy would come over and join the table, and I'd be like, oh, I'm going to get a drink. And he's like, OK. Oh, no. go on. And then just as I go up like this. Oh, go on. I will not. If I look like I'm standing, and I'll be like, wait, it's coming. Don't be a spoil sport. Go I will on. do no such go thing. On. Are we even in frame? And then I'm like, wait, do you want a drink as well? And they're like, no, no, I'm good. Can you even see this? But how tall are you? Uh, I am uh, six foot seven. I'm probably about six four then. I'm seven foot. That's good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you gotta be proud of your height. It was more awkward when I was younger. It's tricky, isn't it, when people yeah, are you can't work around banging on yeah. about it. Like, sometimes you're like, ha, 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 the weather is fine. You get laughed at, people can be really ignorant. And other times it's just the wrong day, and you're like, what are you trying to say? I don't really want, like, to be a spectacle, or, like, you know, to be laughed at. You know, you can get curled glasses, you can do what you want with your hair, but there's not really a lot you can do about, about your height, um, other than embrace it, I guess. If you can be, like, happy in yourself being tall, yeah. 
you can be a very, like the way you carry yourself and like you can walk with that like strut and it's like, oh, who's that girl? Who's that model? Who's that person? It's like, oh, it's just me, Naomi. Campbell, I meant. <laughs>